so uh, now we'll be starting with the april 2023 paper so what we'll be doing is that we'll building the entire model from scratch so it will take us like first we'll today we'll just read the background we'll understand what data is given to us we'll not do anything else and uh, we'll understand how to approach the question what uh, what are the different questions which is given to us and then in the uh, next class we'll start with the spreadsheet work so spreadsheet work will take us like the 29 plus 9 marks which was there so that will take approximately we can if we do it nicely we can finish in two and a half classes okay and then we need to start audit trail so audit trail will take a little bit more time so it will take around somewhere um, again three class minimum three three and a half class so in the next um, five to six classes we'll five to six yeah five to six class six classes we'll complete paper one right so that's how uh, we'll finish paper one and then we'll move to paper two so weekly we'll have one classes now what you all have to do is once we finish one model like just the modeling part in the next two classes you all can start with the models of other term papers right like you can start with the model of september 22 paper or i'll give you an easier uh year to do um so i can i will let you all know but yeah for the coming two three weeks it will be like really light you don't have to study a lot at home uh, you just need to maybe attend the live lectures properly and maybe go back and practice what we have done that's it nothing else okay so coming back i'll share my screen i've already downloaded the paper this is how it looks like once you download so in exam in exam you will get this data for candidates and you will get this clean proof basically exam paper so these two things you will get nothing else just these two uh things that we get in exam so here is my paper one right that's the exam paper that we have now see so this is the modeling steps and the data checks portion which i said is of approximately 29 28 27 sometimes so these are the different steps like these are the different questions that they give so that's around again 29 marks then we have the modeling practice and technique so here we have auto checks so if you all remember i was talking about self checks automatic checks so that's again around two marks demonstration of good modeling techniques spreadsheet practice all those different things that we were discussing is of seven so this is give, giving you total of nine marks and then we have the audit trail in the audit trail we have these different audit trail parts these are the different marks they give us communication skill if the fellow student can understand senior actually can understand if it's in clear english the logical order so you can actually see the weightage of communication presentation over here nothing related to the scenario right it's on how you are presenting your answer and then the content like the spe steps are clearly laid out or not you have given the reasonableness check so i said this is a five marks so sometimes it's five sometimes it's six um signposting labeling assumptions um steps are accurately covered so all this entire thing the audit trail part is of 62 out of which this part is majorly about the approach communication skill uh, writing skill presentation the words that you are using so again you can just you can understand as to cp2 is not about modeling that's what i'm just trying to in crux that is what i'm trying to say okay so let's move to the background let's today for, for today we'll go through the entire background we'll see what data they have given us we'll discuss few things maybe for half an hour and then we'll end today's class so <clears throat> this is how the background generally the background is of four to three to four pages four pages not more than that right so national health agency of country x if you have any doubt at any point of time let me know okay um so national health agency of country x provides health care 
to all the citizens of the country. The NHA has started a program to assess the effectiveness of its healthcare services. NHA, so basically the program has started to test the effectiveness of the healthcare. Now, why, why I'm focusing on these things is this will help us to write the objective portion. In CP2, we, in the auditory, we write the objective portion, so it will help us over there. Now, NHA classifies each of its citizens into four possible health states. Healthy, sick, very sick, and dead. So these are the four states in which they classify their citizens to. Right? NHA tracks the health status of all the individuals receiving health care each year who were alive at the start of the year. An individual is alive at the start of each year if they were in one of the following states. So if they were in healthy, sick or very sick, they are considered to be alive, right? Obviously, at the start of the year. By the end of the year, an individual's health status can be unchanged, can be unchanged from their health status at the start of the year, or they can be transitioned into a different health state during the year. So if they are starting from healthy state, they can remain in that or they can move into some other state. So a person who, will, who is healthy at the start of the year can still be healthy at the end of the year or they become sick or very sick or they may die. The only state an individual will remain in and cannot transition out is obviously the death state. So once person is moving into the death state, cannot leave that. An individual can only be in one of the four possible states and it is assumed that there is only one transition per individual. This is a can assumption that we are a very big assumption that we are making that only one transition can happen in one year. An individual is assumed to transition again an assumption halfway during the year. So if there is a transition from healthy to sick or whatever that is happening, halfway through the year, so in the middle of the year. There are costs or overhead incurred by NHA for every individual in country X. The cost per individual are dependent on the state of health of the individual. Um, so basically what they are saying that there are some overheads that the company incurs. Um, now, these overheads are basically the costs per individual are dependent on the health status. So healthy, sick, whatever. The overheads include salary of the healthcare staff and the hospital facility. So these are the overheads. The NHA, the salary, the facilities, the NHA estimates that currently the cost per year for an individual that is alive is on average. So per year, what is the average cost of each individual in each of the state is 250, uh, sorry, is 50 for healthy, 200 for sick, 3000 for very sick. There is additional one-off cost. So there is one-off cost for individuals who die during the year. So this is the cost. If the person dies, this is the one-off cost. When an individual is sick or very sick, there will be additional cost incurred for the drugs. So some medications will be provided that is used to treat them, which is known as the drug cost. The current drug cost per year can be assumed to be 150 for individuals who are sick and 4000 for individuals who are very sick. OK, so 150 for individuals who are sick and 4000 for people who are very sick. This is the drug cost and this is the per year cost. OK. The NHA expects the overhead cost, including the one off cost 250 to increase in line with the general inflation of 2%. So what they are saying that these overhead costs and also the 250, which is there. So this will increase each year with an inflation rate of 2%. The annual drug costs are expected to increase by 5%. So the drug cost which is given will increase by 5%. The NHA has started a program to study how a large number of individuals who are 
healthy at the outset transition between different states of health over a period of 30 years and to understand the cost associated with providing health care to these individuals. So basically, um, the program to study how like a large number of people will transition from one state to another is being done. So at the outset of the program, at the starting, the NHA randomly uh, selects 1 million healthy people from country X. The budget for this program is 9 million. So 9 million is the budget. Uh, 1 million is the number of people they select at the outset. NHA will measure the success of its healthcare program by looking the number of lives, the number of people who are living at the end of the year. The greater the number of people alive at the end of the year, the more successful the healthcare obviously program. So basically, if you're starting with 1 million people, if there are more people living towards the end of the, like the program, maybe 30 years, so they have given the program lasts for 30 years, more number of higher number of people surviving means the healthcare program was a very good program. So effectiveness is measured using the uh, number of people who are alive at the end. NHA has asked your company to evaluate the effectiveness of this program. As a government-run organization, NHA is conscious about the costs and therefore asked your company to assess whether the cost of the program will remain within the 9 million budget. NHA is also interested in the cost per life alive in the program. So I'm not only interested in the number of people living, surviving at the end of the 30 year period. I'm interested in the total cost. It should be within my budget of 9 million. And third thing, I'm interested in cost per life alive. So in maybe I want to know the cost per life alive, which is defined as the annual. So they are giving the definition over here as annual cost incurred, including the one of death cost, which is there, divided by the number of lives alive at the start of each period. So this is very important once you move to the spreadsheet part, like cost per life alive is basically the total cost during the year, which we have incurred, including the death cost, divided by the number of people who were alive at the start of the year. NHA has provided historic data that shows the state, uh, the states individuals are in at the start and at the end of the particular year. So they have given us a data set, we'll, which we'll see in the spreadsheet. Um, where we have individuals, their start state and end state <clears throat> in one year. NHA is confident that this data set will provide a good indication of transition rates that the 1 million individuals selected for the program will experience. So how this 1 million individual, what will be the transition rate for the 1 million people that we need to, that we can actually understand using the data that we have. So the individual status in the data provided contain individuals who are in the healthy, sick, very sick and death states. Whereas the in initial status of the 1 million individuals in the projection are assumed to be healthy. So this is a note that they have given. Can anyone just quickly like tell me what they mean over here? It's very easy. Can just unmute and tell me. Any one of you? Anyone? Shapia? Can you tell me? No. So we mean that the data set that they have given us, it assumes that the people can be in healthy, sick, very sick, death state. So that is what the data which is given. 
whereas in case of 1 million people uh, the actual data which the nha is using they are all assuming that all these 1 million people are in, are in healthy state so this is the difference between the data that they have given us and the actual data which they'll be working upon right so the nha has stated the discount rate used to calculate the annual cost incurred is assumed to be 4%. So the discounting rate using which we'll discount all the uh, cash flows is five 4%. <clears throat> Your manager would like you to review the data provided by NHA to make sure it is fit for the purpose. Now, this is what we do. We call it as data check and make any amendments or deletions, any changes in the data. Your manager has asked you to then use the cleansed data to determine the transition probability between different states so they have now used asked us to use the clean data to determine the probability use the probability of moving between different states using these probabilities your manager has asked you to project the number of lives in each of the four states the real cost per individual alive in the program for each time period you are expected to complete Determine the number of individuals who are alive. Determine the cost for each state. So for each state, for healthy, for sick, what is the total cost which we are incurring for each year? The total real cost of the program. What do you mean by real cost? Taking into account the inflation. Cost per individual in the real term. So cost per individual is given to us. What they mean is the total cost incurred during the year divided by the number of lives alive at the start of the year given the proximate nature of this exercise non-integer number of lives will be there but obviously like we when we use the life table we see that there are non in non-integer lives right point decimal so that is again we can expect that thing in our paper as well alternative scenario so now this was the base scenario so the first scenario that they give us generally is considered as the base scenario after that we move to the alternative scenario and there are like different scenarios that we take into account so Panglos, a pharmaceutical company has approached the nhj and claims that their new drugs would reduce the number of deaths in the population in the projection period so what they are saying is that uh, that they have approached the energy and the claims and claims that their new drug. So there is one new pharmaceutical company. Company has approached the government and they are saying that if you use my drugs, uh, if you use my med like our medicine, the number of deaths in the population will reduce. NHA has done the initial study and observed that the transition probability for individuals Taking the new drugs at each point in time t is as follows. So the new transition rate, obviously the old transition rate is there, but the new transition rates, basically transitioning from one state to another, the probability will change because they are saying that the number of people who are dying will reduce. So probabilities need to change. And what are the new probabilities? This is how the new probability will be calculated. The original probability that we have calculated from above plus T minus one into transition improvement, right? So for each, it will be different. So now our transition improvement is given to us here. So if I'm moving from healthy to healthy, so that is start of the year, that is end of the year. So what do you mean by this table? We are moving from healthy to healthy, healthy to sick, healthy to uh, very sick and so on. These are the different transitional improvements which is given to us. Now, NHA worked, NHA would like your company to verify whether this claim made by this new pharmaceutical company using the transition probabilities above in your projection. Now, they want you to do the same thing, like calculate the cost and everything, but with new prob prob probabilities, which is given to us by the new pharmaceutical company. The average cost of the new drug, so obviously the drug changes, right, will be 250 for six states, 6,000 for the very sick state. Again, the inflation will be 5% like it was earlier and the overheads remain unchanged and will then grow at an inflation of 2%. So inflation rates are not changing. If you all remember, it was 5%, 2%. 
and overheads is also remaining same. The only thing which is changing is the drug cost. Well, the new drugs are likely to save lives, which is obviously, but we are very careful about the cost. They would like to make a counter offer to Pangloss. NHA believes that if they propose <coughs> to set the drug for the very sick people to be 20 times the price of the sick people. So what I want is if the cost for sick people is X, the cost for very sick people will not be more than 20x. It will not be more than 20x. That is what we are saying. Sick x, very sick, 20x, that's it. Okay. Uh, Pangloss is likely to accept the counter offer. So we are the Pangloss, the new pharmaceutical company is likely to accept. Okay, I'm accepting this offer, but tell me what should be the cost that we'll find out actually. So your manager would like you to verify the Pangloss's claim that the number of deaths will reduce using the new transition probabilities that we have and recalculating the cost of the drug, right? The new drug, drug cost, which they have given us 20 times so that we'll need to calculate. Make a copy of the projection using Pangloss's transition probabilities and determine the prices of the new drugs to result in the same overall cost as the first scenario. So what they are saying over here, that keep the total cost same as that of the base scenario, right? By changing the new drug cost, which is this one. So if you just visualize, there are three different situations. One is the base scenario, the, the above part, Second is the scenario where the Pangloss is giving us a new transition probability, wherein the number of de the transitions will change, um, wherein the, tra the transition improvements is given to us and they have the new drug cost. So what will be the cost? We need to find out the overall total cost. And the third one is where the overall cost needs to be same as that of the base scenario by changing the drug cost okay to assist with presenting the results of your analysis your manager has asked you to produce a chart so they have given us a chart to illustrate the number of individuals who are alive under the base scenario and the alternative scenario produce a chart to illustrate the real cost per individual alive under each of the three scenarios. So these are the two charts that we'll be making very easy. We'll come to that. And then unfortunately, your manager just called to inform that they are suffering from food poisoning will be out of action. They would like you to complete the analysis required and document the audit trail. This is an additional guidance which is given. So basically, we have four different states from healthy to moving to healthy state. We can move to sick. We can move to illness we can move to death state same from illness you can go anywhere but if you see in the death state what is the change in the death state we cannot go back to any of these states understood any doubt till here right now the data if you see that they have given us So this is the data that they have given us. So this is the raw data where we have the number of lives. So we have like 12,003 lives uh, of which we have the start your state and the end your state. So that is what they said, right? Remember that they have given us a data on different lives, their start date and start state and end state of one year. And this is the raw, this is another data wherein they give us a transition improvement. So this is again, which is given in the spreadsheet. They have just uh, in the scenario, they have just put it here in the table. Okay. So we'll see in the next class, the first thing that they said was to put in some data checks and make some data changes. So that is what we'll be doing first. 
and then we'll be uh, moving to the modeling part where we'll be calculating for the base scenario we'll be calculating the total cost cost per life alive the number of lives who are there transition probabilities and all that moving to the pang loss one and moving to the lastly new drug cost and making the chart so that's the entire step that we need to follow firstly obviously we'll be verifying the data understanding whether the data is correct or not and making any relevant corrections right i hope it's clear any doubt till here any doubt what you all have to do is just quickly again read this particular background that you all have and then maybe in the next class we can start with the spreadsheet part yes manan saying something कोई ऑडिबल नहीं है या ठीक है सो लेट्स डू इट टिल हियर एंड वील मीट नेक्स्ट वीक सेम टाइम ओके थैंक यू बाय बाय